What's up? How y'all doing? Still good This is gonna be a comparison between the Paragon Warlock and the Paragon Phoenix here. These are the first two knives to hit the market featuring the WOM opening mechanism or the WOM lock. It's a Warlock opening mechanism. And they're both really, really cool knives. They're both really aggressive. And I really like the fact that they came out with a single edge version, right? They came out with a single edge model using the same mechanism, right? Using that WOM lock, but they still, it's still just as aggressive as the dagger, right? And I really like that. I mean, it's, it is a dedicated defensive knife. You know what I mean? It's obviously you could use this for a lot of utility tasks. It would work for that, but I mean, it is a dedicated self-defense or, you know, combat, whatever type knife. And it's excellent for that. I like the fact that they kept that penetration ability, kept that fighting fight ability in both of the knives, which is just really nice. The biggest thing that comes across to me, honestly, though, as a collector and just a lover of knives is this, right? That sounds great, right? That sounds really cool. I still do really enjoy that. But... It's so much better. The Warlock sounds so much better than the Phoenix here. And I don't know if that's just because the Phoenix is new. This is a newer model. It's a newer model as well as it's got a, it's a little bit more refined in the actual process of manufacturing. The uh, newer Warlocks here are going to be more online with the, the Phoenix, I imagine. But it so there is a little bit less tolerance in the actual Warlock. But that gives so much of a more badass sound. And it is actually freer flowing. It's free or flowing it moves faster when i actually activate it in my hand that's not to say that it's harder the the phoenix here is harder to actuate it i mean it works just the same it's just as easy to actuate as the warlock but i can feel that the warlock moves faster it's hitting the aluminum on the inside a little bit harder i think the blade actually weigh a little bit might weigh a little bit more in itself I do know it's actually longer. The Warlock's got a 4-inch blade length, and the Phoenix here's got a 3.8-inch blade length. And there's just more material removed, so I do think the blade on the Warlock is just a little bit heavier. As far as the actual handle goes, the handle on the Warlock, I've had a, heard a couple of people make the criticism that it's just too symmetrical, and in a high-stress situation, you might not be able to find which way the actual blade does come out because you're only utilizing the pocket clip for that. And the Phoenix definitely does take it in that aspect. You're never really going to be able to confuse the orientation of this thing in your hand. You definitely know where it is, you know where it's sitting. So that one definitely does take the positive on that aspect. But I do still think that it is it is easy enough to actuate and easy enough to figure out. I don't know. Um, but that definitely is a point. The finishing on the knives themselves, well, keep going with the actual defensive aspect. Upon, okay, in, in actual use... Both of these blades are going to excel. Really, it's just at the this it, the, the dagger versus the the single edge really just depends on what you're going to do, how you do what you do. It really that's just kind of a personal preference thing. Um, the coating on the knives, right, is I believe I'm not quite sure, but I am I do believe that this is a hard coat anodized, right? It's hard coat black anodized finish on this aluminum. It is the same material, T6061 aluminum, aircraft grade aluminum. But you can see how this one is worn, right? It's got beat up. This is for my pen writing up in my pocket here. You can see it's wearing away. It does have a decent amount of wear. I love it. It's got that Boba Fett look. I think it looks really good. I've had this thing for a while now, almost over a year now, and I've beat it up. I've carried it a lot. That's where that wear has come from. This one here is a Cerakote finish, and it's got a little bit of wear on it. There's a little bit of beating up from inside my pocket. I'm not actually quite sure what's doing that. This is um, what's doing from the pen. You can see my pen is beating it up a little bit on there, but the Cerakote feels better in my hand, but I like the look of the hard coat anodized. So, I mean, that can go up, honestly, either way. The weight on the two, excuse me, Seth, I forgot where I was going with this one. The weight on the two is actually, it's very similar. The weight for the Phoenix is 5.7 ounces and the weight for the Warlock is 6.2 ounces. And so there's a little bit of a difference there. You can feel it in your hand when you pick this one up to when you actually pick this one up and carrying in actual use. 
they're close enough that I don't really think it's going to be too much of a noticeable difference. The blade stock is the same. It is made out of the same stock. S30V, it's 0.12 inches thick. The overall length on both models is 0.9 or 9.3 inches. And the MSRP for the Warlock here is $350. You're going to pay about $250 for it, right? To pay about $250 online. The MSRP for the Phoenix is $325, but you're going to be paying about $290 for it. So there's a closer ratio on actual price price towards the phoenix which just goes again to the more engineering and high you know there's a little bit higher grade material as far as the actual coating and things like that that goes into the phoenix that's where that little bit of extra money goes they both came with a decent edge out of the box little bit rough edge it was sharp but it was still a toothy edge if you do prefer that some people just love that. These are both big knives. They're not small, right? Let me give you a size comparison here between a couple more common knives. This is a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. We'll remove this entirely and bring up Benchmade Griptilian. Give you a size comparison there. It's really not in the same class as these kind of knives, the three point, you know, three and a half inch blade length. It is more in the four, you know, four inch blade length, 2.8 inch blade length. This is a Hogue X5 here and an Emerson CQC 13. Give you an idea of what how these things are sitting. They both carry very nicely in the pocket. They're both just as fast, easy to actuate, actually coming out of the pocket. I haven't noticed that. This thing is just so much more fun. Did you just catch me closing that thing, <laughs> bringing it back into the camera? It just, you open it and give it such, just a little bit of a downwards angle, right? I'm barely moving my wrist. You can see the angle that I'm holding this here. Just a little bit down and it shuts itself. It almost closes itself. I love this knife. I, I really do like the, the way that these things operate. They're almost as easy to open and close. Well, they're not as easy to open and close as a double action OTF. That's what I was about to say. It's just really not true, but there is just something so simple about being able to close a knife like that. I really do enjoy it. You don't have to give a whole lot of wrist flick. You see me flicking my wrist to actually open it. That is not actually necessary. You can just... Hold it vertical like this, open it up, put it at a 90 degree angle, lean it forward a little bit, and it'll open the blade up. And I mean, you can do that at a decent speed. You don't have to actually flick your wrist out. You know what I mean? So if you're worried about carrying this thing as a thing around as an EDC, you don't want to open it up at the post office swinging your wrist around like that. It is not actually necessary. You can just hold it upside down, get the blade out. There's a whole lot of maneuverability behind it. But at the same time, you do have that ability to flick it out really quick with your wrist. So just a really fun design. WOM lock. It's a Warlock opening mechanism. These are the first two to hit it on the market. It's a Paragon Warlock and the Paragon Phoenix from Asheville Steel. Y'all have a good one.